Hello there, students and families of Westside High School. This is Principal Corey Callahar, and I am going to try to uh, share with you uh, Westside High School's back to school plan for 2020 in about 10 minutes. Um, so I'm going to kind of cruise through some stuff. The idea here is that um, I give you kind of a overhead glimpse of uh, what we're doing for the start of our school year and answer some of the questions that you might have. Uh, so if there are some follow-up questions, always feel free to call our office at 509-663-7947. Uh, All right, jumping into it. Um, if you are familiar with Westside, you know the different programs that we have. If you're not familiar with Westside and you are thinking about having your child uh, or student son or daughter uh, join us. Um, I'll go over the programs kind of quickly uh, so you get that information and you can always uh, contact the building to get an application packet. So um, our day school is a very traditional looking and feeling high school. Uh, we have uh, normally we have a seven period day uh, during continuous learning 2.0 and we, when and if we come back the school year we'll have a six period day uh, to lessen the transitions uh, because there's so much cleaning that happens in each of those transitions and there's a lot for students to juggle in an online learning world so i'll share that more in just a second we have about 150 students 9 through 12 in our day school program and like i said it looks and feels just like a regular uh, high school uh, so the ROCK program, uh, the other four programs are our alternative learning expectation programs. So the ROCK is a program that runs Tuesday through Friday, and we have two half-day programs. And so students uh, get 100% of their education in a shorter amount of time because uh, the students do a lot of the work on their own with a lot of teacher support, scaffolding, and intervention. And that's kind of how all of those programs work a little bit. So the way that we can lessen the students' time in school is that we put more uh, responsibility on the student outside of school. And it really works really good. Um, uh, students for those programs uh, work best if they're independent learners. Uh, we do have some collaborative things that need to come out of there, uh, but also students that uh, kind of work well at their own pace and have a little bit of uh, motivation behind them. So the ROCK program is kind of a uh, during the day program. Uh, we have a morning cohort and an afternoon cohort, and there's about 60 students in that program. Night school is a little bit different beast, and it is created uh, because there is a need for students to have their education in the evening. Uh, whether students are working or they're taking care of their families or they have families of their own um, or we just have some students who just feel like their brains are more on task and fired on all cylinders in the evening time and so we start uh, at three o'clock in the afternoon and go till uh, 7 30 or so when we're in person um, and that will be when our, our synchronous time is and then asynchronous work will be done whenever the student is uh, ready to do that work uh, we have about 60 students in that program, uh, two, stu uh, two teachers and a paraeducator. And then our Bridges program is really a metaphor. The name is a metaphor for bridging students back into the uh, educational system. And uh, some of our students there have maybe been to homeschool or have been to multiple middle schools uh, before they came to high school, or they just had long breaks for whatever reason in their uh, educational trajectory. And so we bring them back in a very small setting and focus on basically reading, writing, and math, and uh, really kind of bringing their skills up to that of a ninth grade student. So that's the idea. We're bridging them back into high school. Uh, usually that is one teacher to about eight, maybe 10 students. So there's a very small ratio, just like almost all of our programs have a very small ratio. The CAP program is a credit acceleration program, and that's housed at the Wenatchee Valley Technical Skills Center. Uh, so this is a complement program to the tech center. So when a student is engaged in working in, say, cinematography or culinary arts in the afternoon, they would go to the CAP program to get their core academic uh, content areas out of the way. So that um, English, math, science, and social studies. Okay, so that's how that kind of works. And the idea there is we wanted to have a little bit of some one-stop shopping at the tech center instead of kids transitioning from two buildings um, all over the valley. Um, so it just really helps some of those students that are out of out of town stay in one place and it helps uh, some of the students that might otherwise get distracted on their way to and from their homeschools 
stay in one place. <laughs> okay. Um, and before I go on to the next slide, I just want to share a couple things about Westside as well. Um, leading from our hearts is kind of our mantra for this school year. And every year, our motto is changing minds, changing lives one at a time. We have school-wide expectations that are the three C's, courage, compassion, and commitment. And we live and stand by all of the mantras and mottos and expectations. We really love working with our students. We love who they are. We love what they bring to the table. And we love helping to nurture and shape them into the people that they become when they leave Westside High School. So I'll share with you really quickly uh, the day school schedule, as you can see here. If your student is not going to our day school, you can probably fast forward through this piece if you'd like. But uh, you can see here that we have uh, six period days, uh, both Monday and the Tuesday through Friday schedule. Uh, Monday, we have our late uh, start because we have teacher professional learning and collaboration on Monday mornings. Mondays, we have 30-minute 30 peri 30 periods, uh, all six of them, and a 40-minute lunch. And then we have grad class. And grad class uh, stands for graduation class. And this is a place where we put all of the work uh, and tracking that students do to get to their diploma into this period once a week. So instead of focusing on English or math or social studies, we focus on the end game. What does graduation look like for you, and how are we going to get you there? So that's what grad class is for. We also build in our social emotional learning growth uh, and character development into that class. So it's a very special class. Um, I love it because everyone has one. Our counselors have a grad team, all of our teachers. As a principal, I have one. Our office manager has one as well. So we all kind of share the wealth in advocating for our students' success, ultimately, as they uh, work toward walking across that stage with their diploma. Tuesday through Friday schedule, 45 minute periods, 10 minute breaks in between so that students can get snacks, uh, obviously use the restroom uh, whenever they need to, help siblings, get some chores done, feed the hogs, uh, fix the car, no, I'm just kidding, what, whatever they need to do, we just wanna make sure that our students are not in front of screens all day long um, and that we have some very specific breaks in there for them. We have the uh, 45 minute lunch as well. And then at the end of the day, you see a 40 minute Eagle Hour. And this is a time for all students to re-engage with previous learning that is happening, that has happened throughout the day, uh, catch up by being retaught some concepts or ideas, uh, or just chat with a, a counselor or a teacher of their choice. Uh, and it's a time where teachers are encouraged um, and will be calling upon students to do a little extra work or um, do some uh, reteaching if necessary. So it's a time when all of our students are still engaged in their learning and have access to those uh, who they need specifically. Okay, I gotta keep moving here, gotta keep the time going. Um, orientation schedules at Westside, we bring students in in an orientation fashion so that we can work with small groups of students so that we can ensure their success. This year it's even more important because we have a, a big technological learning uh, trajectory that we need to talk about. So that's going to be huge. Here's how we're going to bring students in. Uh, the day, day students, CAP and ROC students will have one of five sessions to participate in their orientation. Um, so that means that uh, on Wednesday and Thursday, there'll be a 9 o'clock to 1130 session and a 1230 to 3 o'clock session. Uh, and then on Friday, there'll be a makeup session. So we will have everybody scheduled into an orientation schedule to make it through there. Our Bridges students, instead of coming Wednesday and Thursday from 1 o'clock to 2.30, we're just going to have them come on Thursday from uh, 12.30 to 3 o'clock so they can get their uh, training and their orientation. And night school students will work in the evening both Wednesday and Thursday with their teachers. Night school students always have Friday off. CAP students have Friday off, ROC students uh, have Mondays off, and Bridges students also have Fridays off. So um, there's so much work during the week that the teachers need one day to do all the paperwork for the alternative learning expectations and requirements. So there's the orientation schedule. More information will be coming very soon. Uh, we're going to send out letters on Monday, August 17th. And uh, so that you'll have more specific time and when your student's actual orientation is and a Zoom meeting link so that they can access that learning and training. We want to invite everyone to our back to school bash, which is August 24th. It's going to be amazing. 
Uh, 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock p.m., all students and families of Westside welcome. We're going to be giving away backpacks with all sorts of school supplies in it. Lots of information on the technology and what that looks like. You can get your technology. You can trade in your technology. You can fix your technology, and there will be food. So please come. Figure out a time between 3 and 6 p.m. when you can come by. It's going to be a drive through fashion. Everyone will be safely distanced, and everyone will have face masks. Everyone will have gloves. And we're going to give you some goodies. Okay, so come see us on the Back to School Bash. We love that. Um, and just to let you know, there are some district resources that are available for you uh, on the district website. The front, the first page that you get to, there'll be a picture. One of them looks like uh, this cute little girl with her mask on. Um, to the right hand side, uh, right hand lower side, you'll see some links. One says continuous learning. That's where you can get a whole bunch of information about what we're doing this fall. And there's a tech support button in there. Uh, and then below that is a smart restart button where you can read all about Wenatchee School District's smart restart and how Westside might fit into that. So thank you very much. I think I squeezed everything in in the appropriate time this time. This is like the third time I've done this. Sorry about that. Uh, thank you for listening. We appreciate you. Thank you for sharing your students with us at Westside, the little school with a big heart. Uh, if you have any questions, please call our office, 663-7947. Have a great and amazing day.